everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 14 of the mint generation of the not so berry challenge. Now this might be Minzy's last episode before we move on to the rose gen which is our baby girl Phoenix Barry. Minzy has completed everything she has to do for the challenge. She only needs to get promoted one more time to hit the top of her career and then she is all done. Minzy, it has been a journey. We have had so many alien babies. We met a great husband. We have a great family. We raised great kids and I'm going to be so sad to move on. As you guys can see, Minzy is currently Trez pregnant right now. So she is going to have one more baby before we move on and mark her as unplayed. So with no further ado, you guys, let's jump into what may be Minzy's last episode. Welcome back to the Mint Manor, you guys. Minzy is just out here having a little swing. She is living her best life, looking adorable. So pregos, so cute. It is 5 a.m. on a Friday. So she does have work today. So hopefully we can get that work performance up. We are currently in the good range. We have a little bit more to go. So hopefully the next shift or two will give us that promotion that we need. So Ben is sleeping. Oliver's having a nap, but I'm going to see if his homework is done. Yes, let's have him do makeup homework because we have to get his grades up. Is he still an F student? Yeah, he's still an F student. So we got to get him doing better in school. Ivy, her homework is done. She is an excellent B student. Phoenix, she is a good C student and she has all done her homework. So everyone's looking good for Friday. My little Jasper is an average. C student and he's just starting his homework. I'm gonna have Minzy feed Schwet. Oh, she has gone into labor. We need to make our way to the hospital. Minzy, let's go have that baby. We will bring our Benny with us. All right, here we are. My sweet girl is in labor. Ben does need to go to work, but I'm gonna have him take a PTO. Minzy's making her way to have this kiddo. Not her first rodeo. She knows all about giving birth. And Minzy has a girl ah! okay Minzy so since this is Phoenix's actual blood sibling from the same mom and the same dad I'm gonna continue with the red theme and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a red themed name for Phoenix's new little sister and I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick the name Ruby Ruby Berry just sounds super cute welcome to the world Ruby welcome to the world honey and there she goes so little Ruby is here so I'm gonna have to dip into build mode and just move her out of Phoenix's room real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick her in Ben and Minzy's room under the picture of them swinging. So cute. So Ruby is crying, she is hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and feed the little lady. Minzy does have to go to work. I am gonna send her alone and typically I wouldn't send her after she just had a baby, but we are trying to get her promoted. So I am gonna send her alone today and I'm gonna get Ben to change Ruby's diaper. Minzy's getting a phone call from Hunter. Guess what? My date with Maya went very well. <gasps> My sweet baby angel, Hunter. Oh, I love you, Hunter. Oh, yay. Okay, Ben, come change his dirty diaper. Good job, Ben. I'm gonna have Minzy work hard. And Shwet is very hungry. Now, I'm gonna mention Shwet actually aged up right when I booted up my game to film the intro for this episode. So Shwet is now a little elder doggo. And I love Shwet, and I'm not ready for Shwet to age up anymore and cross the rainbow bridge. Typically, when I'm not filming Let's Place, you guys, I go into MC command center and I make all my pets immortal because I just can't deal with them dying so yeah <laughs> Schwet is an elder doggo now and I'm really really sad about it I'm gonna have all the kiddos take notes in school today and as soon as Schwet is done eating I'm gonna have Ben play with her a little bit and we go give her a bath give her a nice relaxing bath let's go put her in the tub give her a good scritch a good scroob a good rub-a-dub give her a good day that she deserves deserves sweet little baby
baby Schwet. Such a good little minty doggo. There you go, Schwet. Oh, look at Ben giving her a good wash. Oh, nice gentle scrubs. Ben is such an angel, you guys. He cooks, he cleans, he parents, he stepdads, he bio dads. He is just a pure angel. There you go, Schwet. Good girl. Oh, she's falling asleep. Oh, she's so tired. Poor Schwet. Oh, I hate that she's old. Oh, she's got to go outside. Okay, let's go ahead and let her out to pee. Okay, Ben? Let go let her outside. She's an old gal. Oliver has established himself as one of the lowest ranking students at school. Ivy is an A student. Phoenix is a B student. Oh, Ollie, what am I going to do with you, buddy? Okay, our water's been shut off because I guess we haven't paid our bills. So I'm going to get Ben to come pay the bills here. Ivy out here looking good. Phoenix, what are you doing, honey? You need to do your homework. And we'll get Ivy to do her homework too. She's got all this homework in her inventory. She's also got food in there that's probably gone bad. A bunch of coffee cups. My goodness, Ivy. Hunter wants to come over. Of course you can come over, Hunter. Ben, you gotta come feed the baby. Ruby needs some attention. Oh, so sweet. Ben, why don't you come make dinner? Because Minzy's at work. Maybe we'll just do some grilled cheeses. Hunter is here talking to his sister. So sweet. Ben, you gotta come change the baby. Come on, buddy. Ruby is a stinky girl. Oh my God, look at Hunter being a good big brother, coming to visit his baby sister. Okay, Minzy, how'd you do at work today? You definitely increased your work performance. That's great. Good job, Minzy. Why don't we call everyone to come and eat? All the Minty babes are coming to have some grilled cheese. Minzy needs to come fix the dishwasher because it is very broken, but she is very good at fixing things. So we're gonna have her do that. Schwet is begging for food. I'm gonna have Ivy give her a little piece of food. I'm gonna have Ben feed the doggy. It's almost Oliver's birthday. Oh my God, is he gonna be a young adult? <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay, Minzy is very sleepy. Let's take a look at your needs, Minzy. Yeah, you just need to sleep. You're very tired. So let's go up. The baby needs to be babbled to. So let's talk to the baby. Minzy, you come to bed, honey. Good night, Minzy. Ben is just being actual super dad as he does. He is just such a good dad. I love Ben so much. Okay, I need Phoenix to come and eat because she is very hungry. Come grab some grilled cheese. And she still hasn't done her homework. She needs to do her homework. Oliver, you also need to come and eat and do your homework. You're not getting away with not doing your homework. You're literally failing at a school right now. I don't care if it's almost your birthday. Come redeem yourself, buddy. Good job, Oliver. Good job. Hey, okay, Ruby is crying. She is stinky. Let's change Ruby's dirty diaper. Let's have you go pee. Oh, then you got to fix the tub. Everything in this house is constantly breaking. And then we can go ahead and get the vacuum going. Oliver, did you finish your homework, my dude? You did. Great job. So now you're an excellent F student. Phoenix has done her homework. So I'm going to have her pee and then get a little bit of sleep. Oh, never mind. Ivy's using the toilet. Get over here. Phoenix, use this toilet. Let Ivy use the tub. You've ruined her life enough. Okay, Benny, you got to go to work, my dude. Off you go. These two are just having such a nice little chat. I just love these two so much. They have such a nice relationship. Minzy is going to enjoy her day off. So I'm going to work on Phoenix and Ivy here. Ivy, you really got to go pee, girl. Phoenix, you need to have some fun. And I'm pretty sure we need to have you go on one more date. So maybe we'll have you call Kenji, your new boyfriend. Let's send him a text. And maybe we can invite him over. And you guys can go on your date. Here comes Kenji. Hi, Kenji. Come on in, buddy. Oh, they are so flirty. But can we just look at this quickly, please? Oh, what an angel. Shwet, we love you. Baby Ruby is crying. She does need a diaper change. Ollie, you got to get out of the way, buddy. Oh, it's so cute that you're trying, though. It's so cute that you're trying. Oh, he changed your diaper. What an angel. Oh, good job, Ollie. Phoenix is going to go ask Kenji out on a date. Oh, yes. He's all about it. He says, let's go, girl. How about we go out for a brunch date? That sounds very nice. Let's see if there's any good restaurants around. Let's go to this place up here in Willow Creek. So here we are at the restaurant. Here is where we check in. Let's go ahead and request a table. We're getting a little bit of attitude from the hostess. 
little bit of attitude from the hostess. I'm not too stoked on that. So here is our table right beside the hostess. So let's go ahead and order. It is lunchtime, so we'll get something for the occasion. How about we get a couple sewed? Actually, let's get some root beer floats for them. And how about we start with a Caesar salad? There we go. She's feeling all kinds of angry, so I'm gonna get her to flirt with Kenji. I'm gonna try to see if I can calm her down at all. Maybe just have some casual chat, cause she is in a mood right now. All right, she's out of her funky mood now. We just need to socialize and have a deep conversation. Let's ask about Woohoo. She is so hungry, this food better get here. Let's compliment his outfit. We need to get that charisma up. Phoenix stinks. She's got a wicked pit stench going on right now. Kenji does not seem to mind. He's like them pheromones, girl, they do something to me. Lunch is here. Phoenix, you go ahead and dig in, girlfriend. Brighten the day up a little bit. Get that charisma going. Let's flatter. Discuss your interests. I still can't have a deep conversation. Everyone's like, this redhead stinks. Oh my God. Phoenix, you need to sit and eat, girly. You need to sit and eat. Kenji's already done. You guys still haven't gotten your main course yet. Sit here, weirdo. Sit. Okay, let's order our main course. Maybe we'll order you guys a steak dinner. We'll say a mama's treat, okay? There you go. Phoenix, why are you dressed in your bathing suit? Let's put a party outfit on. There you go, girl, looking cute. Phoenix stinks. The date's almost done though, so that's good. All right, her milestone is complete. So now she needs to reach level four charisma and have three first kisses. Steak dinner is here. Phoenix, why don't you come and eat, girl? Let's scarf this down and get you home to shower and sleep because you are in a state, honey. He's trying to hold his tongue. He's like, Phoenix, girl, you f***ing reek. You reek. Let's go pay for this and get out of here. Go on home, Phoenix. You need to shower, you raunchy girl. Woo! Okay, Phoenix, you need to get your butt in that shower. Hoo-wee, you stank, girl. I'm gonna have Minzy hang out with Schwet a little bit. Oh, she's hiding under the bed. I think she's afraid of the thunder. Oh, there's my good girl. There's my good girl. Let's pick her up. Let's give her some lovin's. So you're okay, Schwet. It's just some thunder, honey. It's just some thunder, Schwet. There, Minzy's giving Schwet lots of lovin's. Lots of cuddles, lots of pets. Schwet's getting lost in her giant boobs, but she is so happy. <laughs> Oh, Schwet, what a good girl. We got to put the fur baby down. We need to tend to our biological baby. I need you to get out of the way, Ivy. Oh, Ivy, you're trying, girl. You're trying. Bless you. Oh, good job, Ivy. Nicely done. Minzy, why are you in your hospital gown, you weirdo? Why do you put that on? That's so weird to me. So let's take a look at what birthdays we got going on here. So we have a birthday on Monday. Day. So it'll be little Ruby's and Oliver's birthday. Ben and Ivy have a birthday on the Tuesday. And Phoenix has a birthday on Harvest Fest. Everyone is going to be aging up. And then Minzy, <gasps> Minzy becomes an elder in a little over a week, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get Minzy to come and fix the shower. I'm going to get Ben to come and do the laundry. Jasper can come do his homework. And then Minzy can feed Schwet. Okay, the berry house is very quiet. It is 1 a.m. on Sunday. Minzy can fix the coffee pot. Phoenix does need a little bit more sleep. And then I think I'll have her work on her charisma when she wakes up. She does age up in four days, you guys. So we have to start thinking about university for her. She does want to go into the politician career. So I believe that we need to get her a degree in history. So we're going to have to look into that for for her. Little Ruby is crying. It's almost Ivy's birthday. Oh my goodness. Ben doing great dad things. Ivy doing what Ivy does. She just loves to work out, you guys. She is about that life. Minzy's taking a whiz. The house is actually sparkling clean, you guys. Look at this. The Roomba was the best thing we ever did. Our house looks fantastic. So I'm gonna have Minzy and Ben come play a game of chess together because they like to do that with each other. And I am gonna change their outfits. He's wearing his work clothes. She is in her hospital gown. So let's get her out of that. 
that. Let's put her in her casual everyday outfit. There you go, Minzy. Ben, you can go in your casual everyday outfit as well because you don't want to be in your work clothes. When I get home, I like to put my comfies on after a long day at work. There you go, buddy. Super cash, super comfy. We love it. Phoenix, how you doing, girl? Energy looks good. I'm going to have you get up and I'm going to have you come into the bathroom here and work on your charisma. So go practice your speech. So she is charisma four. That's awesome. She's getting a little bit hungry. I'm going to have Oliver do the laundry here. You know, stop getting mad when you have to do basic human tasks, Ollie. Phoenix, you can go ahead and grab some food. She is feeling tense. She still hates being around her family members. Go ahead and grab some popcorn, you little weirdo. Stop getting so mad all the time. Go ahead and vent to your dad. Complain about your problems. Oh, the teenagers are just full of sass. Let's see if Phoenix can talk to Ivy. Let's see if they're in a good place. She wants to tease about her face. That is so mean. Let's just have her talk to her dad. She is just so angry. That plum bob is just in a constant state of orange. Look at her. She's so mad. She is just not impressed. She just wants to get out of this house so bad. She's just having some popcorn with her dad. They're just shooting the shit. She seems like she's feeling a little bit better. And then it's just back to being angry again. Let's see if she can keep talking to her dad. Complain about your problems to your dad. We need to tend to Ruby. <gasps> Look how good Ollie is with kids. He's just such an angel and Ruby loves it. She's getting so much friendship with him. Look at their friendship is almost maxed. Oh my god, Ruby loves Ollie. That's so cute. Aw. Phoenix still down here losing her mind. Her manners keep going down. Let's see if I can get Ben to parent her a little bit. Discipline for shouting forbidden words. Give her heck, Benny. Give her heck. Oh, she is just so unhappy. Poor Phoenix. She's just in a perpetual state of anger. This girl only knows tension and anger. Let's ask about her phase. Maybe we'll influence her to skill build. How about we have you practice speaking? She likes talking to her dad. He's going to try to get her to practice her charisma. Go talk in the mirror. Cool down. You got to get used to talking to people if you want to literally be a national leader, girlfriend. Okay? Just always mad. Just an angry girl. Let's see if I can get Minzy to talk to her. Say, what's up, girl? Let's brighten her day a little bit. Oh, that's so sweet. Minzy loves her kids, you know? They're gonna have a little talk. Give her a little pep talk, Minz. So you're a teenager. Shit's weird. Shit's weird when you're a teenager. Nothing makes sense. She's venting to Mama Bear. She's just so tense. Poor Phoenix. Minzy is tired, so I'm gonna have her head on up to bed. Ruby is awake, but she's a happy little bean, so she's okay where she is. So go ahead and grab a snooze, Minzy. It is 9.45 a.m. You guys absolutely pulled an all-nighter. Ruby is crying. <laughs> Of course, Ollie is making his way over to his sister. Minzy, you're just going to go to bed because you know Ollie's got this. Ollie's got this on lock. Look at that. Ruby is so happy. How about we talk to our sister, give her a little bounce. Oh, look at this, you guys. Phoenix is so mad. She's so tense. She is, the only thing making her happy is food right now. Like, girl, <laughs> hard relate. I'm going to have Phoenix play a video game just to unwind a little bit. She's got gamer rage. <laughs> She's... She just can't get in a good place right now. But hopefully this will help her get in a better place. She is very moody. Now that her fun is all the way up, I'm going to have her go for a pee. And I'm going to have her go to sleep because she is very tired. My Minzy girl is well rested, but she does need to eat. So I'm going to get Minzy to go down and grab some food. Get some leftovers, Minzy. So the birthday's kind of shifted for some reason. So now Oliver has his own birthday tomorrow. And then we have Ruby, Ivy, and Ben all aging up on Tuesday. Ben's gonna be an elder. Oh my god. Phoenix is already 10. She just wants to escape this family so badly. Go to bed, you cranky butt. Minzy's down here talking to the boys. We'll have Minzy talk to Ivy a little bit too. Ask about Ivy's day. Oh, look at this mama and her cubs. Look at all these minty babies. I love them. Oh, Hunter just walked in so angry. Hunter. Oh, Hunter is mad. Okay, Minzy, you gotta come very much much repair this toilet and mop this up okay ivy why don't you talk to hunter say what's going on brother why are you such a cranky butt go give him a pep talk we have a very hungry ruby and of course ollie is the first one to march his butt up and take care of her it melts my heart are you gonna feed her 
You're going to coo at her. You're going to coo at her again. Okay, but she's hungry. So let's feed Ruby. All right, Minzy, you really got to go pee, girlfriend. Come over here and use the toilet. Everyone's just gathering in the kitchen again. Hunter wants to chat with Ollie. So yeah, go ahead and answer that phone call. Hunter has spread some juicy gossip about Minzy. What do you mean, Hunter? What juicy gossip? Excusez-moi. Rude. Why are we all hanging out in the bathroom? That's weird. Ruby is a crying. Oh, Ivy's coming to tend to baby. Why are my alien children so good with Ruby? I don't even think Phoenix has come to meet her sister yet let's feed little one good job all right ruby is very happy minzy the fridge is broken so you gotta come and fix this please you expert repair that and phoenix you can grab some popcorn and minzy is gonna cook some food we love that oh where's she going oh no she's investigating a weird light oh bye minzy bye bye minzy Bye. Okay, bye. The uterus is on lock, gang. Just waiting for Minzy to get back from this abduction so that she can resume the omelet she was making because she's hungry. And while she's up in space, I'm going to see if there's any reward traits I can get her. I think I'm going to get her the reduced bills trait because our bills are really high. Celebrate Oliver's birthday by throwing a party. Okay. Oh my God, look at these ghost doggos. Captain Whitaker and Spat. I love them. Okay, Minzy, welcome back. I hope space was fun. I need you to come make this omelet. What's wrong with Schwet? What's going on, Schwet? Oh, she's so sleepy. She just passes out all the time. What's going on, Schwet? Oh, Schwet's got to go outside. Okay, Schwet. Well, you go ahead and go outside. There you go. You go for a pee, girl. Good girl. There you go. Phoenix, why don't you do some extra credit work before school starts? Little Ruby is is crying. Minzy is on her way. Go ahead and feed Ruby. Where's Schwet? Schwet, where are you going, girly? Where are you going, Schwet? Schwet? Where are you going? Schwet? Where is she running to? She's running so far away. It's Oliver's graduation day. Grab your family and head to the stadium. Okay, well, let's all go. Schwet, where are you going? Off you go back home, girl. Off you go back home. Okay, she needs a nap. Poor Schwet. Ollie is literally sleeping on graduation day. Ollie, Get up. Go to your graduation, <laughs> you weirdo. Oh, that is the most Ollie shit. I swear to God. Our bills went down by like two grand. Very nice. Oh, everyone's in their fancy gear for the graduation. Why is Schwed so far away? Minzy, you gotta come take care of Ruby. And then she has to go to work, even though she's exhausted. You gotta go to work, Minzy. We gotta get you promoted, girl. I love Oliver's little formal wear. He looks so good. Does Ben have to work today? Ben, you're supposed to be at work, buddy. Go to work. We got bills to pay, honey. I still stand by this maid being the best thing we ever did in this game. Absolutely by far. Baby is crying. And is it baby's birthday today? Because if so, I'm just going to age her up. Why does the baby's birthday keep moving? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I thought the baby's birthday was supposed to be... I'm so confused. Is that a bug? I'm pretty sure Ruby should have been aged up by now. I'm just going to age Ruby up because I think it's bugged. She was already supposed to to have a birthday. So let's age Ruby up and give her a one, two, three inquisitive, just like mom. Very nice. Oh, she's cute. Yay. Happy birthday, Ruby. Let's go into cast girl and give you your makeover. Okay, you guys. So here is little Miss Ruby Berry's makeover. I'm going to go through her outfits really, really quickly. This here is her everyday look, her formal wear, her sleepy time, her party wear, her swimwear, her hot weather outfit, and her cold weather outfit. And that is our little Miss Ruby girl all made over. Okay. And as you guys know, we did have to give little miss ruby a room so i did get rid of ivy's room since she will be aging up and she will be moving out and she will no longer need her room here at the mint manor so this will be little ruby's room nothing crazy guys we just have a little tv little console table and a little red bed actually this is a kid bed i gotta get the toddler version of that okay so that's better that's the actual toddler version of that particular bed and i am gonna get her the mac 
matching toy box. I'm just gonna stick it over here and make it red to match. And she is all done with her room. And I was looking in the inventory here. I have so much stuff that I'm just gonna sell. Like I have all these date things. I think that's Ivy's birth certificate. I'm gonna keep that in there. This homework, I don't need. I have two bikes for some reason. I don't know where those <laughs> where those came from. I have random books that I'm just gonna sell that I'll put in her office. This is from Ben's work, I think, or Hunter's when he was an astronaut. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that too. I'm just gonna sell all this stuff because we are gonna be giving a lot of this money to Phoenix when she moves out because I did make her a fancy apartment because she is a fancy girl. So we gotta save all that money up. There's so much money. This one's 2,800 simoleons. That puts us over 20K. And I'll just put this down in Minzy's office to go with all of her other plaques that she has acquired in her career. That one can go right there. Perfect. All right, and the family is set. So let's go back into the gameplay. So I am gonna have Ivy make her own birthday cake for her and Ollie so they can age up and get out of the house. So let's go ahead and make a white cake. Minzy is exhausted, you guys. She is so tired, but her work performance is going up. She is almost in the excellent range, you guys. She is so tired, but we need to get her promoted. And once she is promoted, we are done. Okay, Ivy, let's go ahead and add your candles. And Oliver has to blow them out first because he is the first to age up. So you go ahead and blow out your candles, Ollie. Happy birthday, Ollie. One, two, three, you're gonna be materialistic like your mom and you're tall okay well let's call everyone to the meal minzy how's your work performance girl it's still going up it's still going up very good come on minzy if you get that promotion i'll be so excited ben's getting a phone call from hunter i have a crush on ellen do you think it's worth a try yes go jasper's getting a call hunter wants to come over of course you can come over honey minzy's almost done with her work day ah no promotion but she did great at work today. Minzy, you just go straight to bed, girl, okay? You get some sleep. These two have such a bond. It is so cute. Ollie, why don't you play with Ruby? Brighten her day, because we are going to be moving you out of the house. Oh, we need a potty. We need a potty. Thank you for reminding me, Ruby, because I think I got rid of the potty. No, I didn't. I still have the potty. Yes, cat. Good job, cat. Good job, me. Oh my god, he's going to potty train his sister. Oh my god. God, Ollie, you are such an angel. Ben, why don't you fix the sink, buddy? Minzy needs to sleep. She's so tired and she has a big day. She needs to get promoted tomorrow. So her needs need to be fantastic. And I think I'm gonna have Ollie move in with Hunter because they're good buddies. I'm going to go ahead and go into Manage Worlds and I'm going to move our beautiful little Ollie out into the world with his brother Hunter. Now that he's grown into a man, you know, he was an F student, but maybe F was not for fail. Maybe F was for father because he is so good with Ruby and I truly hope that he has his own little kiddos because Ollie turned out to be an actual little angel. Okay, so we're gonna take our little guy. We're gonna move him in with his brother and we'll give him a thousand simoleons like we did with his brother just to be fair. And just like that, Ollie is going out into the world and there is one less in the berry house. Goodbye, my sweet angel. Bye. Okay, we are back in the house and Ivy really needs to go to bed. So I'm gonna have her sleep in Ollie's old bed. So go ahead and have some sleep, Ivy, because it is your birthday today. It's Tuesday. So you get some sleep. Phoenix is sleeping. Ruby is sleeping. The whole house is asleep. So we have a big morning of Minzy going into what will hopefully be the shift that gets her promoted. Our baby girl, Ivy needs to age up and go out into the world all on her own. And Minzy will say bye to another one of her big kids. So today is Ivy's birthday. We do need to throw her a birthday party. Minzy, go pee. Go pee, Minzy. Maybe we'll have a throwback to our old days and we will have you troll the forums. Troll those forums, Minzy. Your fun is all the way up. She is thinking about Ollie. She misses him. So sweet. Minzy, I'm gonna have you come make breakfast. Why don't you go ahead and make an omelet party size oh it's ivy's graduation day 
All right, I guess we're going to send the whole family. Everyone's really hungry, though, and needs to have some fun. So hopefully, hopefully they'll be okay. Mincy's still going to go ahead with uh, with this food here. Ruby is very hungry. I'm going to actually bring her up some cake to her room. And my little angel, you can go ahead and eat that. Ivy, you are sleeping on graduation day, girl. Get up. Hey, Mincy, you got to go to graduation. Go, mama. You can't miss Ivy's graduation. Off you go. Let's get a nanny here. Nanny Newton is here. Ben is home, so I'm going to have him make... A cake for Ivy. Nanny Newton's making rum balls. I love that. Thank you, Nanny Newton. You are an angel. I feel like Ivy would like this sugar-free coconut carob cake because she's a little fitness queen. She does like junk food though. So, I mean, who knows? Little Ruby is hungry. I'm going to see if she'll come grab a serving of these. Okay, Minzy, you're going to be late for work. So go to work. You're an hour late, but that's okay. You had a good excuse. Bills are paid. Okay, we love that. Ivy, why don't you put some birthday candles on your cake? And then you can age up, my sweet girl. Okay, Ivy, happy birthday, my big girl. Moving on up in the world. Oh, no, not you, Ben. Not you, Ben. Not you, Ben. Wrong person. You blow out candles, Ivy. Ooh, we almost turned Ben into an elder prematurely. Happy birthday, Ivy. We love you. One, two, three. She's gonna be an animal enthusiast. All right, you call everyone to the meal and then you come pee, okay? Minzy, you need to work very hard. You are so close, Minzy. You are so close. It's also Ben's birthday today. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess we do have to age Ben up anyway. We could have let that one go. And I am going to have Ben sign up Little Miss for preschool. I think we actually have to be on Ruby to enroll her. Enroll in preschool. Yes. And then we can go ahead and send her to school. Go to preschool, my little Ruby. Oh, have a good day, honey. You be good. We love you. Ben, I'm going to have you come cook a cake for yourself, my dude, because it is your birthday and you're going to be an elder. Oh my God, no. I'm not ready. Look at this little miss waddling her cute little butt to preschool. How cute is that? It's almost Phoenix's birthday now too, which means it's university time for our girl. Ben's out here making his cake. Oh, Ben is thinking about Ollie. That's so cute. Okay, Ben, add your candles. Add your candles, Benny. Oh, happy Happy birthday. Oh, Jasper is a full on teen now. Stealing the thunder, but that's okay. Blow out your candles, Benny. Happy birthday, you old man. We love you. Oh, he's an elder. Happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> oh my goodness. Minzy, how are you looking for that promotion, girl? You're in excellent. Still no check mark, but ah, oh, we'll see what happens. Minzy is almost done work for the day. Oh, she's got such good work performance but i don't know if she's gonna make it to her promotion today guys it might have to be tomorrow Oof, we'll see what happens ivy is getting a phone call from ollie ollie wants to come over of course ollie of course literally anytime dude literally anytime all right so minzy earned a vacation day she got one star celebrity status but she is not promoted so i'm hoping tomorrow will be the day that that happens for our girl she she does need to shower though. She is very, very dirty. Phoenix is back to being tense because she just hates being around her family. So while all this is going down and Phoenix is doing her homework, I am going to go into Manage Worlds and move our sweet little Ivy out into the world. Okay, guys, we are going to send our sweet Ivy into the world. She is going to get a thousand simoleons. And just like that, our sweet baby angel is all on her own. Oh my goodness. Bye, Ivy. Ivy. Oh, I love her. And the family continues to shrink. Mincy is super tense. She's feeling insecure because Ben's not here. Ben is just sleeping. He's in bed. Phoenix, is your homework done, girl? No, it's not. Go do your homework, please. What is your status? You are an average B student. Okay, that's not the worst. Okay, little Ruby is still at preschool for some reason. Uh, It's 930 at night. Ruby, you can come on home, honey. Okay, you can come on home and you can go straight to bed. It is way past your bedtime, little miss. Minzy, can you give Schwet a bath? Because she's super, super 
super dirty. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Minzy. Minzy's also not feeling very well. I might have to get her to get some medicine. Ben, can I get you to fix this toilet? I swear to God, everything in this house is constantly breaking. Little Ruby girl, why are you up? Because you are at full energy. So I'm going to have you come and play with a toy of some sort. Go play with Chompy. Sweat is nice and clean. I'm going to get Minzy to order some medicine because she's really not feeling well. You can go ahead and take that, okay? Oh my God, we have so much stuff in our inventory, guys. I'm just going to sell all this quickly. Okay, we made some room in the old inventory and we actually made quite a bit of money. So we're looking very good. Minzy needs some food fun she is gonna go ahead and troll the forums as she does it brings her great joy so we're gonna do that and then she needs to eat and i'm gonna try to get her to have a bit of a snooze before she goes into work ruby looks fantastic phoenix does have to pee but otherwise she's looking great minzy is your fun all the way up very good let's have you go down and grab some leftovers and then you can fix the vacuum again everything freaking breaks in this place I swear to God. So hunger looks great, Minzy. Go ahead and grab a pee. Phoenix, you could afford to have a shower. She's going through a distant phase again. This girl just constantly goes through phases, like nonstop. Go ahead and play with Shwet. You can pet her. You can babble to her. You can give her some loving. Aw, so sweet. Look at them. Look at Shwet's little tail wagging. She is so happy. She loves Ruby. Aww. Oh. Oh, she's gonna give her little pets. Oh, and a lick. How cute is that? Phoenix, I need you to make friends today. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna have you take notes. I'm gonna have you take notes because I want to get those grades up because you are only an average B student. The better you do in school, the better are chances of getting you a distinguished degree. Oh, Ben, such a good daddy. We need to change baby's bum though. Ruby, where are you going with that stinky bum? Get over here. She's like, no, I want to bask in my own poo. Dad, come on. Sorry, Ruby. Okay, Minzy, off to work you go okay knowing your scholarships that's great for our girl phoenix so when she gets home i'm gonna have her look into scholarships and apply for them hey ruby is really hungry so i think I think Ben is going to take her to eat. Yes, he is. Good job, Benny. Good thing we kept that high chair. I thought about getting rid of it, but I just had a feeling we weren't quite done with it yet. And then Ben, once you feed little Ruby girl, you have to feed little Schwet. <gasps> She's got that golden check mark. Ooh, could today be the day, gang? Could today be the day that we say bye to Minzy? Could today be the day that we mark her as unplayed? I feel like a piece of me is dying right now. My Minzy has come so far. I do want Phoenix to apply for scholarships. So let's go over here and let's apply for scholarships, Phoenix. You got a Brindleton Bay resident. So let's do that. And let's... um. You apply to universities now. Oh, good stuff. She has applied. She is very tense. Oh my God. So she is lovelorn. She is awaiting university acceptance. She hates being around her family. She just needs to have some fun. Okay, Phoenix, why don't you go ahead and play a multiplayer game with Anita? Minzy is so tired, but she is almost done with her work day. And Phoenix, when you're done that, right to bed, girl. Right to bed, because you need to get some sleep. All of calling to chat with phoenix of course we'll pick up ollie we love you i'm sure she misses her brother oliver spread juicy gossip about ruby she's an actual baby what gossip that she loves to hang out in her shitty diaper minzy has got half hour left of her shift oh i'm so excited could today be the day <gasps> guys she did it she did it she has been promoted to extraterrestrial explorer and with that you guys we have completed minzy's portion of the challenge she doesn't look very happy about it but we are so proud of our girl minzy amazing job sweetie my little space explorer why don't you go ahead and get the mail and then you can go straight to bed my 
my sweet, tired baby angel. What did we get? You got the plaque for getting all the elements. We got Wolfium. We can just sell that. And we will add the plaque to the wall. It's been that long, guys, since we checked the mail that we're just putting up our plaque now. That was like last episode. <laughs> my dear Phoenix, I do need to wake you up because you have to use the bathroom or you will absolutely pee your pants. Okay, and it's back to bed with you. I, it, I'm gonna just see if I can get you a better bed. It takes her a long time to sleep. So let me hop into build mode really quick and see if I can get her like a, a better bed. So this one here is 10, 10, 10. So we'll see if that gives her a better sleep. She wants to talk to her dad. She just loves talking to her dad. She is just swearing. Ben's gonna come give her shit for swearing. Phoenix, you can't be swearing all the time. Girl, we need to give you a firm punishment for swearing, you naughty bean. Oh, damn ankles look a little broken, honey. Little broken. Let's lecture her about her responsibilities. You know, you're gonna be going into university, little Miss Phoenix. You're gonna have to get your life together here. She's not very interested in this conversation. She's like, whatever, dad. God. Joke about politicians. You wanna be one? You better be ready to be roasted, girl. Phoenix, you have to do your homework, girl. You are a very good B student, but you gotta get that homework done. Minzy is up. She is hungry. She is going to be having some cake for breakfast. My sweet baby angel that I am going to miss playing with so much. My sweet Minzy. Who this coffee pot has seen better days, fam. Oh my God. Jasper, why don't you come clean this? Because it's a little, it's a little raunch, dude. It's a little nasty. It is harvest fest today, but I am going to send Phoenix to school anyway, because I do want to try to get her grades up if I can. So go have a quick little sleep before school. Okay, while well, she's getting some sleep, I am going to go ahead and have Minzy put up the decorations. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, Phoenix, you can get up because you have school. Now, I'm going to send you, even though it's a holiday, because I'm mean like that. And I'm going to have Minzy cook a grand meal for everybody. Tofurky, because she's my little veggie queen. Okay, Phoenix girl, I need you to work hard, baby. Work hard. Take notes. Minzy keeps holding her tummy like she's not feeling well. She's nauseous. Okay, I might have to get her some medicine again. Ben, why don't you try to appease the gnome? Why don't you give him uh, give him some pie? Everyone loves pie. Do you like pie, gnome? Damn right you like pie. Ben, I'm gonna have you turn on some music so little Ruby can come have a little dance over here. Ruby, come over here and bop around. Come dance after you're done playing with Jasper. Yes, Ruby. Yes, queen. Yes, girl. Look at her go. The move. The moves. So proud of you, sweetie. Minzy, go ahead and call everyone to the grand meal. And then we'll have Ben share his thankful spirit with his wifey. Be thankful. Oh my God, you guys can become best friends. Hang on. Hang on. That is too cute. Oh my God. Actual soulmates. Look at them. They are my favorite. <laughs> Oh, congrats, fairies, lovers, and besties. Can you ask for anything more than that in life? Truly not. Congrats, you guys. I really want Phoenix to get home so that we can check on the status of her university application. Let's see. She is now an A student. Okay. Nothing has been delivered, so she hasn't gotten it yet. But at least we can check the application status, right? And it is her birthday today, you guys. So we are going to have to age her up. Application is still going through the system. Oh, it's Phoenix. It's graduation day. Everyone's got to go. Everyone's got to go to her graduation. Look how happy Ben is. He's like, my baby just graduated. Congratulations, Phoenix. You graduated with an A. I'm going to have Minzy get up and come make a cake for you. Big girl's birthday. And of course, my girl gets a strawberry cake. Oh, look at her. She's still all dressed up from the graduation looking absolutely gorgeous. I miss her already and I haven't even said bye to her yet. Okay, you minty queen. Go ahead and put the candles on. Phoenix, I am gonna get you out of bed and I'm gonna come have you blow out your candles. Happy birthday, Phoenix. Oh, she's tall like her dad. Oh, 
happy birthday, sweetheart. So she does need to be a snob. So that will be her final trait for our girl here. And that is our girl all aged up into adulthood. Hoping for a big mail day tomorrow. Phoenix, how you looking, girl? You need some breakfast. Why don't you try to make your own breakfast this morning? Let's see if we can get you cooking, girly. Because you're going to have to learn sooner or later. Still no mail. Still nothing on our university acceptance. So I think that I'm going to leave this episode here, you guys. We had a lot happen. We said goodbye to Ollie. We said goodbye to Ivy. Phoenix has aged up into a young adult and has applied to university where she will go and get her history degree so that she can get into her politician career. And guys, I think the most important thing of all is that we have completed the mint portion of the Not So Berry Challenge. And the next episode will be episode one of of the rose generation we had such a journey with minzy we had her ups we had our downs and i had so much fun playing with her even now she's walking around doing the laundry phoenix is watching herself pee which is not creepy at all thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you like today's video don't forget to click that thumbs up button down below subscribe if you want to see more content from yours truly and hit that notification bell every time you want to be notified that i have uploaded a new video you guys have a wicked day wherever you're at and I will catch you next time.